skewed roast kids, you know what I'm saying? We already on the way to the thing at the van. Yeah, we going to the club and we're going to bam. Do you get awkward in front of the camera too yes. and you don't know what to say? Yeah. So then you just start saying so? Yes. That's how it is exactly right now. Uh no, oh, where do we did we see where we was going? We say on a date. No, we're going on a date. We're going to do rug tough thing, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna go make some rugs. For sure. Bro, you're <laughs> not from Bro. For sure, homie, we're about to go make some rugs. Like for sure. For um, sure but yeah. We, we've been wanting to go Tufton for a minute. They call it Rogue Tufton. I don't know why they call it that. But we've been wanting to go for a minute. Because that's what it's called? But why is it called Tufton? That's like saying why is bread called bread. That's no, just the name of it. That's, that's not. It's like bread's called bread because bread been called bread since forever. Okay, so Tufton's it's, probably been called Tufton It's never, it, it probably have not always been called. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. That's not making any sense right now. That's not making any sense right now. Yeah, we've been wanting to go for a minute. Now we're finally going. Uh... Yeah. For sure. That, that, that's all I gotta say. Yeah, we better go to um, eat. And um, it's this place called Top Spice. Tiana put me on, actually. She put me on. I did. That's it was our I first do. date, the date that you don't want to consider a date. When two people, a man and woman, go Oh, we out. sure did go there. It, but with the location we went to closed down, but we sure did go there. When a man and woman goes out, romantically sitting across the It wasn't romantically. Other, it wasn't romantic. First of all, he didn't buy my food. Therefore, it's not a date. Because you, if I bought your food, you would say I was trying to buy you. Okay, so therefore, it was not a date. Because it was a date. I would have bought your food. You just, it was not a date. It was. Let me, let, me, let me ask you this. It's not a date, but the guy come and pick you up. You get all dressed up. I just up. didn't want to drive. You get all dressed up. I got up. dressed up because... Where no, we no, no, no. <laughs> you get dressed up because you're trying to impress the guy. No. No. Oh. We was going to a Christian... A Christian... Why is there so many cop cars? It's two cars. Anywho, yeah, we was going to this Christian, this little Christian event. You know, they was doing music stuff like that. I had, I couldn't, I, I had to look nice. Not that I had to look nice. but yeah, I, we was going out. You look nice for we was what? Going out. I had, no, I no, had no. to get myself you look, together. You look nice for who? Jesus. Why okay. would I come like a bum okay. for the Lord? Because if you come, if you you would have came as you are, you would have came with what you had on. No, you he have said come as your best. He said come as you are. <laughs> yeah, but if you can't come as your best, come as no, you, you came your as your best because you were trying to impress. No, I was trying to give him my best. Thank you. No, you're trying to come as your best because you're trying to impress who the Jesus. one that was driving you. Anyway, so then we went to spin art in Atlanta. It's basically like a little and uh, got the what the couple. I thing. had to tell them what it is. Yeah, got the couple. The it's couple like a thing. canvas on the uh, like a wheel, and you spin it around, and like you like paint on it and stuff. He didn't know this, but I was broke, so I suggested we got the couples one because I think that was the cheapest. Because you wanted one. to be a couple. We're gonna split split the price. Because you wanted to be a couple. No, because it was the cheapest one. Yeah. <laughs> so I suggested him to get that, and basically he got half of the painting, and I got the other half of the painting, and so he thinks it was a date. It was a date. I didn't want to go back home. Okay, no, no, I, it no, was no. like a friend date. It no, was no, a friend no, 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 no. It was a romantic date. Because then we went and got ice cream too. That was just because you did not want to go home. And uh, who bought and who bought your ice cream? And you said okay, he bought a me blue ice fire cream. pop. He bought me baby. No, you said he bought me blue pop. He bought me blue you pop. You asked me. Look, and look how you're talking now, because you're blushing thinking back <laughs> to when you was in them days because you like you was you was not doing it to impress the Lord. Shut up. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. We sat and had a romantic date. It was not a romantic. A romantic conversation. Can you quit? A romantic ice cream date. <laughs> How do we even get to talking about that? Because we're talking about Top Spice. We said that. Oh, good. so yeah, when we had went to go eat, we went to Top Spice. And that's how we ended up here. Now we're getting Top Spice again. It must be an accident. Um, but for sure, that's what we're doing. We'll show y'all the next thing that we do when we get there, you know what I'm saying? When we get to the spot, we're gonna show you the spot, we're gonna show you the food, and we're gonna let you know how it tastes. So, yeah. So, we just got the food. We just got what the food. Did you get? Oh, I don't like when they give us the soup. They always they give you the oh, soup. Oh, they do the, they do the soup for the lunch special. Yeah, I know. That's why I don't like uh, it. It's only ten dollars. You get soup, and you get food. I give this to my dad. I don't need it either. Yeah. You go. Thank you. You want a spoon or a fork? Spoon. So we on here doing a what's called a mook mukbang? Yeah, I guess. I've never done one of these before. I thought I thought it was called mukbang. Let's pray before we eat, and then we we'll get started. Dear Lord, thank you for this food. Yes, that is nourishment to our bodies. 
and that is taste good. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You already know what's in the bus. This is what I got. Hers kind of. Mine looks the exact same. What are you talking no, about? Her. I don't know how you. Mine really looks the exact same. I don't know if you can see that. No, mess around. I flip my food over. You flip your food up. <clears throat> bus, bus. Yeah. I get the spicy chicken and beef fried rice. She get just regular. Let me see if I can take a picture of like the TikTok girlies do. You gotta stop moving, bro. I'm trying to eat. You take a picture of your food. <laughs> you take a picture. This is why I can't be an influencer because you just. I'm trying to eat. You trying to take a picture. Is that aesthetic? What y'all? What do y'all think? No. Is that nice. <clears throat> nah, this hot, bro. <laughs> you can see. This is level nine, spicy. It's pretty spicy. Oh, my mom sent me a picture of Casey. Look. Oh. Mm. I mm. miss her, that girl. You miss her, that girl? I miss that girl. What do you want to talk about? I know we've been talking about starting a podcast recently. I guess we can talk on that. Well. Okay, first you gotta cut smacking. Why are you smacking? I'm not. You are. I'm not. You literally smacked while I was smacking. No, I didn't. Anyways, podcast. We've been talking about starting a podcast. We both like to talk a lot. Mm, he likes to talk a she lot. She likes to talk a lot. I like to listen a lot. But it like kind of evens us out. Okay, my reason for wanting to start a podcast is because I just feel like our relationship is very open and vulnerable and stuff like that. And a lot of times like within our friend group and stuff like people will ask us questions or stuff or like we're just really open like with our relationship and our walk with god and like you know just like sharing our life to be able to help other people in any kind of way and i feel like we i, I had thought about like us having a podcast or at least maybe like a youtube channel where we could just like talk about like the topics people don't want to talk about like and just be honest and open with it like sex like god like your relationship with God, having doubts, like just literally anything and just be honest with it, like in the fullest capacity because a lot of people don't do that. That was like my reason like for doing that and then I thought it'd just be fun because we're always talking about something and when we end up going and talking to our friends and stuff about what we were talking about, it's like, excuse me, it's like we're all going through the same thing, literally. And so, uh, My reason for starting it was, I guess, in a way to, like you said, to help people. Cause sometimes you don't have that friend group where you can like, where you can talk or where you got people who are like actually going through the same thing as you or who actually is open with talking about that, the uncomfortable conversations that people don't want to talk about. But for me, it's like, I know that God got me in the place or he got us in the place of being vulnerable. I guess since we started this Christian walk, they said the truth will set you free. And it's like, when you're able to like put everything on the table, it's like the enemy don't got nothing to use against you. So knowing what we've been going through or what we go through, it's probably a lot of young couples are, it's like a lot of times you can't relate to an older couple or you can't relate to somebody on, somebody who you, somebody who basically Has looks like they, that. yeah, who been past that or look like they got it, basically got it all together. If you see like a celebrity or so, just say a pastor or somebody else talking about what you're going through, you may not be able to relate to them because you're like, yeah, 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 you just saying that. But it's like, we still like kind of fresh in it and we still walking this out. I feel like that's the that's the difference is like when somebody going through something or like went through something they closer to been been like, have going yeah. through it then it makes it easier for me to relate to them because like they know how i feel rather than most it's people like talk fresh. yeah most people talk from a place of like they've been through that but then they also talk from a place of like the past like get, like 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 it's like get past it and you got to have that that empathy there to remember how you felt when you was in it with with that what you were saying like you going through it like fresh I feel like a lot of people like discount discount you giving advice from a place of being in it because it's like well you don't know nothing about this because yeah. you're going through it but it's like actually you're in the best place though you might not know like what the end goal like the end result is being outside of it you still have that knowledge of what it's like to be in it i don't know i guess it's like like allowing god to give you wisdom through it because it's like though we don't be knowing a lot of like a lot of stuff that we 
like like I said we don't know the end goal of a lot of stuff we still apply those like godly principles and wisdom to the situation that it's like we all figure out with God together and it puts you at an advantage to be able to help somebody while going through it because you know what that feels like and it's fresh instead of like looking back at, like you're all kind of going through it together for the end result to be overcoming if you are already at a place of like being over it, it somebody else's struggle wouldn't seem as urgent to you which that shouldn't be the case, but 90% of the time that is. Yeah, like, but I know for me, yeah. I listen to Michael Todd a lot, or Charles, or just like Transformation Church in general, but mainly them two. But when I would hear them talk, or even like other other pastors that I'll be watching, the thing I like about Michael Todd the most is that he's honest and like he's open and transparent he said something where he was like he's like y'all see me as this crazy faith man but he's like i went to he basically went to a maverick city concert and he was like i went there and he's like me and natalie was going through it and we both was mad at each other because the son the son got autism so he was saying how it's like you out here being this faith example for all these people looking up to you but then you looking at god like but my son got autism I'm having faith for like basically like for myself and for everybody else this still didn't happen he said he got up on the stage and he's like he told them he's like I really don't want to preach right now I really don't even want to be here by him getting up on the stage saying that it was a lady in the room who was a teacher who just had quit her job and moved to Oklahoma because she said God had told her to move but I think she said she didn't know why or she said that she was supposed to teach his son but after that, she ended up coming talking to him and she'd been teaching her son. When he said that, it made me realize how like in you being vulnerable, that can be your very blessing. Something that you've been praying for from God can be in you being humble enough to let God know that you're weak in that area because he made us to be dependent upon him. That's why I feel like a lot of times we miss our blessings is because we act like we got it all together. When he want us to not have it all together because we need him when we don't have it together. If you got your life together, then you don't need him in you have your life not together you are gonna see that you need him so then when you do get your life together you are gonna know that it was because of him yeah and that you still need him that made me want to be vulnerable to be like well i'm gonna share this and i'm gonna share this sometimes you feel like embarrassed or shameful you feel that guilt you feel that freedom on the other side of that because that's what the enemy try to do is make you feel that guilt or feel like you're embarrassed or like you're the only one going through this a lot of times especially with me i've been on both sides of it i've been on the sharing side and on the hearing side but if somebody was like i watch porn and i was going through that i'm not bad to say i watch porn because i'm not comfortable enough to come out and say that but now it's going to play in my mind and remember that oh michael todd always say that he watched porn but i may not have been in that place to say that back then but now i'm in a place to say oh yeah i used to watch porn and i'm delivered from that now and it might make other people people who's going through it it might make them feel uncomfortable but it's you planting a seed because when down the road when they are ready to get out of that they're going to remember either you or god using you to speak your story or your testimony and then they're going to use that as fuel to be like well i'm not the only one going through it because that's really what pushed me out of like hiding behind that was hearing Michael Todd say it and he said like every, every service single, yeah and he like, I'm passing now but I was addicted to pornography and blah, blah blah and it's like I would hear that and they'd be like oh yeah but then it's like when I came time to for God to be like it's time for you to be vulnerable it's like I remember that and that yeah. encouraged me to be able to push through and then once you start reading your Bible, you start seeing that all these people wasn't even perfect, but God still used them. And you realize that God can still use you. It makes you see it from a whole different perspective. You sharing your stuff is not for you yourself. It's for you to get freedom, yeah. but it's ultimately for other people to see how God brought you through. That's why I feel like, like I said, the podcast is like, he been putting it on me because like we do share a lot. A lot of people don't share because it's like it is in this time and age it is scary to share people to tell people oh I used to watch porn because now they're gonna use it against you or look at you differently. But I'm at a place where I don't even care if you look at me differently because I know I'm over here getting set free and I'm over here walking in freedom and enemy don't got nothing to hold over my head. It's hard, but you got you got to put in that work to be vulnerable because if you don't, the enemy uses your very things that you're insecure about. And he turned it against you to make you feel like that you're the only one going through it when everybody in the world is going through the same thing. Like I said, that's pretty much where I'm at. I keep talking. I talk all day long. What you said about Michael Todd, it made me think of the prophet and apostle yeah. at our church. 
that's what made me like going to our church. They be like, and you're looking to, to somebody who were thieves and we were womanizers. It just made me see like, why? Like this is off topic. It's not even about the, the podcast, but it made me think about it. What you said about Martha Todd, because it's like, that is what drew me to going to that church. Their vulnerability. And it lets me see how much power God has instilled into yeah. them. And it's like, but you were doing all this stuff. You weren't thinking nothing about God, but it's like to see how God can use you. All you had to do is be willing. So what can God do through me? If I just become willing like, look at their story and how they help and lead other people into deliverance and get freedom from their vulnerability and from their obedience to God. So even with that, it's like through the podcast, I don't know, I just feel like in our relationship, God just like, everything has just been be open, be vulnerable so that other people could kind of like be inspired and transformed, if that makes sense. It's like, this is what God's doing in our life. But whoever's willing to hear and allow God to let that story transform and inspire them, like, like this for you. This is what God did through us. This is what God is producing in us in the rawest, like, truest form. But it's like God can, is going to bring beauty from that. Yeah. You know, so. But. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Aww. Yeah, next time, well, we, our thing is at 5.30, so we'll see y'all again at 5.30 then. I wonder if we see if we go early. See if we can move it up. Mm-hmm. Back to eating again. You ate that plate clean, my boy. My hair dried. Her. I had no. I'm not doing this for that cash. Leave it, John. I get right. Uh, 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 uh. Ride it to something. Okay. Titus, we thought that was you. When you watch this vlog, well, we thought it. this is you. Well, if you never watch it, then that would be embarrassing. Hey, move. You're breaking up my content, bro. Stop touching my butt. Christian, you're making me. You're, I'm doing a job you're supposed to be doing. Hey, I can't do it. She don't like the steps. It's like four steps. See, elevator's out of order anyway. Okay. What was for? What was for your? I don't know the. I don't know the saying. Ready? So she gotta draw the circle first. I don't, I'm like scared. <laughs> I don't know. How do I draw a circle? So. Like. Bro. <laughs> they didn't let us do our words, so we just gotta do. Thanks. She was acting like she was waiting on me. Hey, look at you now. What's you doing? Yes. Keep that pressure. That pressure. Get. <laughs> <laughs> Or do you touch your nose and you think you're going off? And we're done.
like that? I like you. So did you did you did you like it? Yeah, that was nice. But it, it was it, nice. I, towards the end, it's like okay. Yeah, you start getting. Tired. I'm tired of doing this, but it was fun. Very nice experience. So check out Tutu Testing in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? This is not even considered. Atlanta. It's okay, okay, it's okay. But we're in Atlanta, Georgia. But I'm saying they, they consider Atlanta, but this is considered Shamble, Doraville area. Christian, we're just saying Atlanta because everybody's from Atlanta. In Atlanta, you don't say you don't say cities. You just everywhere is Atlanta. We've been wanting to do Tufton for a really long time, but the one that we were uh, the only one we thought there was was like seventy five dollars a person, and they wouldn't let you share. Oh, this and that wasn't the, we wasn't in the right place at that time. Oh, nice, cool. Yeah. You been there before? No, I just see it on TikTok. Yes, it was after a minute. You get you do get tired of it, but it was it was good. Um. Our rug, you showed the rug. Yeah, we showed yeah. the rug. Our rug was pretty, uh, tough. Ha, tough. <laughs> it's pretty tough for our first time, but we did pretty good. Well, not really, because you can't really tell what it is. Yeah. If somebody comes over and looks at that rug, then we're like, all they you see can is brown. You can tell. Brown, green, brown, and brown. I green. think you can tell. No, you can't. We tried to do extra for our first one. We tried to be sophisticated. Hey. That's our problem. Ooh. What? Let's rip my pants. In the middle? Yeah. You sure? Yes. Oh lord. I don't like when stuff like that happens. As y'all heard, he just ripped his pants. Out. Out. So you know what? It, wait, I gotta take clothes on. Okay, we just, I just do one big vlog. So got... man, we about to go to the stoop. You know what I'm saying? She about to. She about to make a song. Let's see what she gonna do. Where's the baby? <laughs> Get your phone out. That's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs>